for Sunday afternoon baseball. We'll see the Oakland Athletics taking on the Tampa Bay Rays at Tropicana Field. It's what's on tap in this 2K Sports presentation. Home team support, you bet, and a lot of it. Some 36,000 fans here. The home turf advantage, Tampa Bay will have it. Their hometown fans looking to see some offense. 2K Sports presents Major League Baseball Sunday afternoon. Starting pitcher, we will see Matt Moore. Steve, what's he got in his mind now as he takes a look at Oakland today? Well, it's got a report against this lineup is if you execute your pitches, hit your spots, keep the ball down on the zone, you can shut them down. And with a quality left-hander like this on the mound, he shouldn't have too much difficulty. The A's lineup looks like this. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, he can get lost in the shuffle of, of the team that he's on, but day in and day out, Ike Davis produces a big guy. He's going to be a huge power guy once he learns the pitchers in the league. Well, Coco Crisp will lead it on. For the Oakland Athletic center fielder, number four, Coco Crisp. More with the delivery. He swings now and really hit that. Catch now made by Jennings. One away. And we'll take a quick look at the Rays and their alignment defensive a, a solid defensive team right here, especially within this division. They're the best. The fewest number of errors committed of anybody in the division. And it really does separate them defensively from all the other clubs. And it's Yonel Escobar now. You know, despite the Rays falling short in the playoffs and losing to the Rangers for the second consecutive year, what a storybook season for them. Nobody thought they'd compete. They had taken their team apart. The September comeback, chasing the Red Sox, passing them. Swing, hot shot. Oh, my. How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. Now and he pulls into first Oakland base with that base hit. There's one down here. And that comeback for the Rays last year, it was history-making. They overcame the nine-game deficit in the season's final three and a half weeks. And you can go back as far as you want. A hundred years or more, no team has ever come back from that far behind in September to make swings. Oh, he got that one high in the air. Straight away center field. Goodbye. Home run. The A's are on the scoreboard. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. Now this takes the pressure off their own pitcher. They're able to get out in front now, get a lead, creating a margin for error, Gary. I like what they're doing. Moore with the delivery. Oh! It's fouled away. Steve, they love to see their bats going here. You just love to get a big jump in a ball game. Now, you know, you have to wonder whether nerves are a factor here in the first inning and affecting the way these pitchers are going at it. And that's going to be another hit for them. And this rolls all the way to the wall. And he's in at second with a double. 1-0. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back. For the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Now it's two down. Reddick towards third base. Now batting for the Oakland Athletics. RBI third chance, base. Brett Lorry. He'd like to make contact Brent here. Lurie. Reddick will look in from third. Moore with the delivery. And Laurie swatted that one. Fantastic play, Jennings. Great offense early. First inning sees the first two runs of this game. Oakland with the advantage, two to nothing. starter for our ball game. Number three. Steve, what's he looking at as he sees this Tampa Bay lineup? Well, this is a lineup that at times does struggle to score runs, but this is a pitcher with a right-hander on the mound that they can have some, some success oh. against, so it's going to be interesting to see if they're able to put the ball in play and take advantage of opportunities. Here's the pitch. Strike and two. that's a strike as Drubal Cabrera is going to have to take a defensive stance here. Let's see what he's going to do 0-2. The hitter's got to be guessing right now. You 
Swung out and missed as Drupal Cabrera goes down strike three. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. Now we have a moment to take a look at the lineup for the Rays. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, a guy who's not going to put eye-popping numbers on the board, James Loney's a guy that when he comes to the field day in and day out, the manager knows what he's going to get. He's not going to get overly excited. He's not going to get down on himself if he has a bad at-bat. He's going to come back the next one and throw a quality A-B on you. James Loney, a consistent player. And a ground ball, Lori. And he scoops it up. He's out. On to first, that's out number two. Now we'll take a quick look at the A's, how they're taking the field defensively. I like the key defensively is to just not get too fancy. You don't have to make the razzle dazzle plays. Get routine outs. Just don't allow them extra base runners or extra outs in the game. Evan Longoria at the plate. Out that one at the letters, 0-1. He let that four-seam fastball go up and in in the zone. It's up in his eyes. You can see it well. He just couldn't pull the trigger. Hit in the dirt. And it's plucked off the field. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. And they're held in check here in this happening. And the Athletics coming up next. And Ike Davis to lead it off. Here we go with a little breakdown on the types of pitches that he's throwing on the mound that are turning into hits. Well, guys, looking at swing and a rocket towards short. This one into the alleyway should be extra bases. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. So this could be a start of a great inning for these guys. You like to swing on this, and good hustle also to get to second base. Now, still three outs to go with the man in scoring position. And that's through a base hit. Davis around third, headed for the plate. And he's in there. Oh, with one run already across the board and nobody out. This has the potential of being a really big inning. Let's see if they can string some hits together. Here's Gentry now as he comes to hit. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feeding off the other. That's a foul ball. Oh, and one offering from Moore. Ground ball to short. The second, there's one. And two, double play. And a great throw right there. Second base, strong arm. Arm strength critical, turning the double play. Can be a matter of a split second to get the out. Great double play. And Coco Crisp to that. 271 is lifetime average off Tampa Bay. The first pitch. Swings, ball is clobbered high, deep to left center field. And goodbye home run for Oakland. And their offense is thriving today. This game now a four-run ball game. The solo home run adding to that lead. Little warm-up action going in the bullpen. That's a right-hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then they'll probably make the move to the pen. And there's DeJesus, out number three. And they had a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. A's on top by four. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's James Loney in the box now. Watches a fastball that's in there, 0-1. Oh Tough pitch to hit right here when you run this fastball up and away. You have to elevate your swing to get on top of it. He ends up taking the pitch. Davis. Oh, and out number one as he steps on the base. Left fielder, number seven, David DeJesus. So with one away, it'll be David DeJesus. Batting average, 248 against the A's. 
on the way. Strike Split one. fingers pitches in there for strike one. Well, sometimes it's difficult for young teams to win on a road. In 2011, that was the story for the Oakland A's. They just couldn't find ways to get it done outside of Oakland. Oh, and he one. leaves that one alone. David DeJesus evens the count. And Steve was talking about the uh, road woes. 50 losses for the A's away from home, John. Well, for a young team like the A's, still one. trying to get their feet wet, it can be hard going on the road and coming home with some W's. That two. one swung on. No contact by DeJesus. Count is even. Strike three. Swung on by David DeJesus. No contact. Well, 90 miles per hour on the gun, but still not much movement. He decides to take a hack at a pitch up and away, but he just couldn't put the barrel on it. Nice piece of pitching right there, John. Well, it certainly was. you got to give him credit to the pitcher for giving him something eye level to chase at. Jason will be at the plate. Right Fastball one. swung on a miss, 0 and 1. In his career, 6 for 15 off the A's. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter which pitcher they trot out there, Gary. He loves hitting off every one of them. Looks at that curveball. It's a strike. He's behind 0 and 2. All the pressure on the hitter right now. He knows that he has to protect the plate in order not to strike out. Taps this one foul to the right. Change up swung on and missed. That will retire the side. No hits. Nobody left on. And a good defensive half inning. A's not letting this lead get away. 